doing the 100 poem challenge. Woo! Poem number one. <laughs> When you get up and you slam a hundred poems over the course of however long it takes you. I had to give myself permission to write some bad poetry, so it's okay if I don't have embedded complex metaphors and all that poetry stuff, so I'm just going to give it to you guys. And I'm reading it off of my pizza plate from <laughs> The absence of the ancient ones means the chain has been broken. A language lies dormant in my blood, only echoes in my DNA in ways I realize after the fact. My propensity for things reveals itself as I step back into ancestral archaeology to uncover long forgotten wisdom of my Polish grandmothers. Is it uncovering as much as remembering the singing and dancing in the village squares? The geometry of their steps imprinting on the earth the long forgotten way of life, dotting my DNA like Morse code, an old cultural language, and I am separated by an ocean, and no SOS will help me now. I once heard if you open your mouth wide and let your mother tongue speak, the voice of your ancestors will speak from the root of your remembering. The heart and tongue are the first organs to grow in the fetus, and our roots go deep, our connection to the land, to the heartbeat of the mother, Mother Earth, giver of life. And if I open up and follow the songs, climb down the ladder of the roots, past those helix-twisted building blocks, there I will find the elegant balance between then and now, and have more clues finding my way back home but I must remember. Thank you.